Hey guys, psst, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Once in a while, you're going to get a gimme. If your girlfriend asks you if you like Juno, if you get asked if you'd rather be with Steve's girlfriend instead of her, that's what we call the softball, the warm-up, the motherfucking gimme. And this week, we got three big gimmies, complete with three big misses. So let's start with an easy question. What is a white Christian to do when their daughter starts dating a black guy? If you answered what the fuck kind of question is that, congratulations, you got it right. If you answered anything other than that, or some variation of that, then perhaps you'd enjoy reading the Gospel Coalition's website, which featured an article this week called, I shit you not, When God Sent Your White Daughter a Black Husband. And look, the article is very clearly written in support of interracial marriage. It really is. But it's just as clearly written for readers who are not. The whole article reads like someone trying to talk their dad into putting down the gun that they have aimed at the mailman. For example, quote, Calling Uncle Fred a bigot because he doesn't want your daughter in an interracial marriage dehumanizes him and doesn't help your daughter either. Lovingly bear with others' fears, concerns, and objections while firmly supporting your daughter and son-in-law. Don't cut naysayers off if they aren't undermining the marriage. Pray for them. End quote. Yeah, because God forbid Uncle Fred not be gently led into the 21st century by jelly beans you lay along the way. And is it just me, or are they saying to hold your tongue when he uses the N-word and only spring into action when he starts tying the noose? All right, so I've got another gimme for you. Is knowing your baby will be born with Zika a sufficient reason for a woman to make her own choices about whether or not to keep it? If you answered, actually, that's a woman's choice no matter what, you get bonus points. And if you answered, it's a difficult question and a hard one, but if I'm going to err, I'm going to err on the side of life, then you just might be former presidential candidate and dummy in search of his ventriloquist, Marco Rubio, who apparently took his gimme and drove it right the fuck into the dirt this week. He was asked if he was pro-choice in the face of one of the most dangerous conditions a new mother's potential child can be exposed to. And like the shit show busboy of the Republican Party that he is, he maintained a stance of babies are magic, regardless of whether their lives will be permanently diminished by an awful condition. Just don't come to him for any help with the medical bills. He's got these straps you can put on the bottom of your boots, you see. And for our final gimme of the night, I ask you this. How long should a convicted rapist, if he was caught lying on the stand, go to prison for when the recommended sentence is four years to life? And if you answered a two-year work release program and no prison, then fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I mean, there are more details to the story, and they just make it worse. And if you want to read all about it, you can check the link out in the show notes. But I already highlighted the main point, so all I've got left to say about this is fuck this asshole. Fuck this asshole, and the last asshole, and the next asshole, and all the other fucking assholes who don't even cross my fucking desk. I mean, what happened to those trans bathroom rape assholes? Where'd they go? You can bother a lesbian at Target, but I got you a real fucking rapist and you're nowhere to be found? And where are my Islam is coming to rape our women shit kickers? Where'd everybody fucking go? Where the fuck are all those misogynistic dickbags that say they oppose abortion to protect women? Or those fuckwads that are so concerned that young girls not grow up to be used pieces of bubble gum or glasses of water that have been spit in? You guys were so worried about protecting women just a minute ago. Now, here's a convicted rapist going virtually unpunished and you're nowhere to be found. Hmm. It's almost like it was proof that you're just using the image of women getting raped to stoke terror when you actually don't give a flying fuck about women unless it allows you to demonize brown people or trans people or gay people. It's almost like a blatant admission that concern for the safety of women was just another handhold on the mountain of bullshit you're trying to lead society up through. And while I say fuck a whole bunch more times and try not to think of all the times I've covered stories where the rape victim winds up going to prison, I'll hand things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli. <laughs>